Go ahead, go ahead. I want, I want, who's the Michael Jordan of celebrity golfers? Michael Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> Next question. All right, Tra Oscar told me that... Oscar Michael Jordan is a celebrity. What do you mean? He's an athlete, just like actors. Who's the best actor slash golfer? Who's the best guy that doesn't work enough or that he got good at golf? <laughs> let's see. The president? It used to be Sam Jackson. Uh, let's see. Um, who is it? Sam Jackson isn't that good anymore? Sam Jackson is great, but you know, he, he, he does movies uh, all the time. So he, he he's up there in the top five. Probably Alfonso uh, Ribeiro. Uh, um, who else? Let's see. Um, let me, I get, it's more easy to tell you who's not than who is. Uh, Ray Romano's pretty bad. Uh, Cedric, I'm pretty bad. You know, the, uh, who else is who else is out there? Adam Levine is Adam Levine is great. Joe Pesci is a great golfer. How's Andy Garcia? Amazing. Timberlake. Timberlake is good. Yeah, he's good. I do have to ask, Oscar told us that Trump cheated on the golf course. So did Sam, and so did Anthony Anderson. Uh, you think he still cheats? And he cheated when I played with him. Really? Can you describe? He has a caddy that he calls Rabbit, and then you go, why, why does he call him Rabbit? Because the minute he hits the ball, the guy takes off and finds it no matter where it is. So, he, uh, the Donald Trump is the only guy that could hit a titleist off the tee and end up with a lady precept. <laughs> Has anyone called him out? Did you see him get called out? Well, listen, we're calling him out for bigger things than cheating on golf guy. What kind of fucking question is that? All right, next question. Right, George, I know you know Triple I love G, you. I love you bro. Ho hopefully, we're looking at the rematch uh, in September. Canelo Triple G. What are your thoughts on uh, on that? So what happened? That's the big fight. That's the fight that everybody wants to see. Canelo and Triple G. And there's also who's the guy that beat Linares? Is uh, <laughs> otro? Because Jorge Linares is always in 100 percent top uh, uh, condition and he's uh, he's tough as tough as anybody who's ever put on the gloves so that dude you have to look out for in that rematch all of a sudden now because you know Jorge was beating everybody up and now you know he you lose because you know sometimes in boxing you lose you know it's not it's not anything to be ashamed of so those are some pretty good fights now we got now we got some uh, and Triple G, you know, we got to fight. He turns 51 in uh, in October, so we have to get that fight done before he turns 51. <laughs> After watching the first fight, man, what? How do you see the second fight? Listen, I don't like draws. I don't like draws. That's like throwing Palo and nobody comes. You know, so you gotta have uh, you gotta have a winner. There has to be a win. Listen, you can't. Two dudes can't fight and end up exactly tied. A, t a, a draw is you have to look at what person has the most interest and the most to lose, and those are the people that went over there and said, Orale, draw, they just go like this. They do, they do this in the air, like they're drawing a picture. <laughs> in your mind, draw. who won the first fight? Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna say it was two, two, little, two different fights. Uh, you know, I, I think that uh, Triple G was a little bit surprised that Canelo could take uh, that punch, and then I thought Canelo could have been a little bit uh, busier. But, uh, you know, I'm not a judge. But I could be, probably because of that, that one lady, I don't know what it is. Huh? Natalie Berg. Natalie Berg. Uh, 175 to 2. Uh, <laughs> so Natalie Berg, you know, like Roseanne, there's an opening over there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you spoke on uh, Lomachenko, man. Obviously, the, the that, fight everyone wants to see is Mike. How old is that guy, Lomachenko? 30. 30. 30. Early. That guy's he's great. Is he from the same place that Triple G is from? No, no, no. Triple G is Kazakhstan. He's from the Ukraine. Oh, to Chicano, that's all the same. <laughs> a, a lot of people are talking about Mikey Garcia. Uh, and Mikey Garcia, again. too. That's right. Oh, that would be another good one. That would be another good one. How does that play out? Man, that's, you know what? Those, those are like the great fights that Oscar had. Those are the fights that Alexis Arguello had, Aaron Pryor age. So that would bring back a little bit of like... Um, like good old fashioned uh, throwing leather like the old days, you know? People so trying you, to knock each other out. You just came back from Mexico, you were saying, uh, we asked on Cheeto, we asked Cedric about Canelo's uh, reason for ending the fight last, or uh, pulling out of the, the Triple G fight with the meat thing. Uh, what was your thoughts on, on that? You know, listen. You, you know, we know how to marinate carne, but I don't know who was marinating uh, Canelo's carne, you know. To blame it on a cow, okay, you know, the cows, they give us so much. They give us milk, they give us protein, and, you know, to blame to blame something on a cow is gotcha. Eh? It's like it's like blaming an angel. You know what I mean? And they, the cows mean no harm. And what do we do? We slaughter them every day. Everybody should stop 
wearing leather and stop eating cows and that fight would have went on. Que chingados. <laughs> uh, right, hey, hey uh, Canelo, go gluten free, Vato. Let's get this thing going. Eh. Vegetarian, come on. George, tell us about being part of the 18th annual Oscar de la Foundation Golf Classic. You know, Oscar is a great uh, champion, one of the best fighters ever. But then, you know, he's been doing this for a long, long time and raised a lot of money. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, how he lost his mother for cancer. And, you know, Oscar's opened a school and has helped a lot of people. And, you know, aside from being uh, one of my closest friends, it's, it's always an honor to to come here and stand. They're trying to change that logo. Uh, the, uh, it's front of that logo for the last 18 years. How special is it for a local LA kid to come back and, you know, and get back to his community? Well, I mean, you know, when when, when Oscar was, was fighting you know, in the Olympics, we were all, you know, um, younger, so we were idols of his. So, so you know, to be friends with with your idol is a, is a good thing. And knowing that he's from East LA, and people said he wasn't Mexican enough. Listen, if there's a guy, if there's a Mexican giving away money, he's more than Mexican enough because almost must call those days. You're right here, right? <laughs> You, what, what, you know how bad Oscar is? Oscar's gonna take all the bottles from Tecate and go recycle them this afternoon in Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite Oscar fight? Oh man, wow. That that's a You were there for a lot of them. I was there for Mayweather he had Mayweather. Um Trinidad was a one that he had. Um man, there's some really good ones, man. I don't know. I think the I think the one that you look at was you know when Fernando Vargas talks so much about Oscar and Oscar, you know, it's the old days when you would when you would make somebody pay for disrespecting you. That's boxing, huh? And, rom and romance, not anymore. Get you know. What do you make of the heavyweight division now? Well, that it tells you the silence is. There's some pretty good. There's some pretty good heavy heavyweights. The guy, what's the guy's name that won the championship? We got Wilder and Joshua. Those two guys, amazing. You, you have Amazing. a favorite between them? It, 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 you know how sad boxing is? You can't find one heavy Latino to be good at boxing. <laughs> Ariola was decent for a time. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was, he was. But you know, we, that, that used to, you know, it's never been our strength. The tiniest Mexicans are jockeys and great boxers. But uh, if they get that big and they have talent, they have to become mariachis by law. <laughs> <laughs> How's your you ask your oh, questions, yeah. goddammit, shut up. Your next coffee, yeah, George. I know, right here. Huh? How's your taco spot going, man? I don't have a taco spot, I have a restaurant, oh, cabrón. Sorry, yeah, sorry. All right? <laughs> you can make tacos right there in the corner with those two boxes. I have a, re a full-out restaurant and bar. It's going great. And the name is Chingon. You and Danny Trejo That's weird by name. Danny Trejo, thin the tofu. I don't have tofu. I have a stuff that stop your heart. Come and see it. <laughs>